Hey Vinyl Community, it's Michael. Welcome back from your wild heaven. What's playing in the background? This is The Scientist. Uh, the song playing is called Swampland. This is a reissue of an album from 1986 uh, on Marrow Group. Really good stuff from The Scientist. Turn this down. So today's video is going to be uh, vinyl finds for the month of June and uh, what I was talking about here, The Scientist, uh, Weird Love, this is a band from Australia. Um, like I said, this album came out in 1986 and this is a 2024 reissue on the Numero Group. Really good stuff, really good uh, Australian kind of punk, psych, garage rock, really good stuff. The Scientist, Weird Love. So, um, yeah, most of this stuff is just things that I picked up at local stores uh, over the past month. So I'll just jump right into it. And first up, this is The Electric Flag, um, their second album from 1968. Um, this has uh, Buddy Miles on it, and it's really good. It's like a, a mix of maybe R&B and rock and some psychedelic rock in there. It's uh, really good stuff. Uh, the songs like Soul Searching, uh, they do a cover of the song Sunny. Uh, Nothing to do, see your neighbor, hey little girl, mystery, great stuff from the Electric Flag, their second album from 1967, or no, I'm sorry, 1968. And up next, this is Sweet and Honey, uh, Live at Your Cosmic Mind. Uh, this came out in 1997. This is a Japanese psych band. Um, this band, the members of this band, were formerly in a, another Japanese psych band called Ghost. And not to be confused with uh, the hard rock band Ghost that's been popular the last few years. I think they're, they were a U.S. band. But this, uh, the band that these guys came from is also called Ghost and the Japanese psych band, but this is really good. It is so good. Uh, guitarist on here, um, I'm not even sure how to pronounce his name, so I'm not even going to try, but yeah, this is great stuff. You like Japanese psych. It's kind of uh, spacey. Uh, there's some lead guitar to it, but a lot of it's just droney and spacey. But it's really good. I really enjoyed this one. Sweet and Honey, Live at Your Cosmic Mind. Great uh, Japanese psych. And up next, this is um, Sky Saxon Blues Band, uh, A Full Spoon of CD Blues. This is a mono promo. Um, it's been, you can see this promotional stamp there and then the hype sticker up here and it's on uh, let me get it out of here on a white label GMP crescendo autographed by Lynn whoever the hell she is um, she did on both or it could be a male I don't know but um, yeah, this is great. It sounds really good uh, in mono. I had a stereo copy of this, but it wasn't all that great sounding. Uh, it was kind of beat up, had a lot of clicks and pops. But I found this one and it's great. It sounds fantastic. But um, this is, they kind of went a little bit off their usual uh, garage psych sound and this one it's all like blues and it's pretty good uh, most of the songs written by Sky Saxon but they do 
covers by uh, Luther Johnson and Muddy Waters. So, uh, yeah, but great stuff from the uh, Seeds, also known as Sky Saxon Blues Band. Uh, really good album. Check it out if you don't know about it. Great stuff. The Seeds, or Sky Saxon Blues Band, whatever you want. Okay, up next. This is a Vintage Dead by the Grateful Dead. This is a very early recording. This came out in 1970, but it was recorded in 1966. It's like before um, the Grateful Dead had a recording contract. And this is great. It's uh, almost like garage rock. But uh, the songs they do on here, it's like I Know You Writer. It Hurts Me Too, uh, they cover Dylan's It's All Over Now, Baby Blue, uh, Dancing in the Street is another cover, and uh, Side 2 takes up the entire side with one song called In the Midnight Hour, and it has Pigpen on vocals, but great stuff from The Grateful Dead, very early performance, really good stuff. Uh, if you don't know about this and you're a uh, fan of the dead, check it out. Great album. And up next, this is Nucleus. Uh, this originally came out in 1969. Uh, this is a 2024 reissue on Sundays. Um, it's on a white vinyl. And I don't really like white vinyl, but what are you going to do? Um, but yeah, this is a great album. Um, kind of organ dominated, Hammond organ, but um, it's great. It's like, a, it's like a combination of psych and prog. At least it sounds that way to me. But yeah, great stuff. Like uh, songs like Jenny Wake Up. All about me and the spidery bass. That should be the spidery bass. Um, Judgment Day, Lost and Found, Share Your Color, Communication. Great stuff. Kind of like I said, psych and frog mixed. But really good stuff. Uh, Nucleus, their first and only album from 1969. Up next, now this one. This is Royal Air Coach. Um, I saw Dave the Pickup Artist show this a few weeks ago. And it got me interested in it. And when I went to one of my stores in Lakewood, um, they had it, so I grabbed it. But it's a great album. It's like Garage Psych. It's, um, you know, a bunch of teenagers. but And it sounds a little bit amateurish but that's part of the charm of it but it's really good i really enjoy this one a lot and do some great songs on here like wrapped up in your mind wondering why webs of love lies eat right waking skies wax theory death of man all pretty good stuff from royal air coach open up your mind this is the uh, sundays uh, issue from 2022. I don't believe these guys ever released anything at all during their lifetime, but they recorded enough to put an album together. So there you go. Uh, Royal Air Coach, open up your mind. And up next, this is a Led Zeppelin bootleg, Egg on Your Face. This was uh, Recorded in Montreux, Switzerland in 1971, but this was released in uh, 1986. This is a Canadian bootleg, and it's not like top-notch in sound, but it is listenable, and it's pretty good, I would say. Uh, but they do like, I Can't Quit You. Uh, Feel All Right, White Summer, Daisy and Fuse, Heartbreaker, Since I've Been Loving You, What Is and What Should Never Be, 
uh, Moby Dick and how many more times. But uh, pretty good stuff from Led Zeppelin. Uh, from 1971 in Montreux, Switzerland. Uh, Canadian bootleg from 1986. Great stuff. And there you go. And up next, this is uh, Heavy Heads Voyage 2. This is the second volume of a compilation of blues artists that are on uh, Chess Records. And we got people like uh, Chuck Berry, Muddy Waters, Sonny Boy Williamson, Holland Wolf, Little Walter, John Lee Hooker, all pretty good stuff. Uh, if you like country blues or uh, like rural blues, this is pretty good stuff to check out. Uh, heavy Head with Voyage 2. Up next, this is uh, Amboy Dukes, their first album. Uh, this is uh, First Press from 1967. Uh, pretty good album. Uh, I kind of like their second album better, the one with Journey to the Center of the Mind. But this one's pretty good, too. Um, some of the songs that they do a really good version of Baby Please Don't Go. And I Feel Free, which is a, a cream song written by Jack Bruce. Uh, Psalms of Aftermath, Colors, Let's Go Get Stoned, uh, Down on Phillips Escalator, Nighttime, It's Not True. Uh, great stuff. Uh, first album from Amboy Dukes from 1967 uh, on Mainstream. And take a look at the label there. But yeah, great stuff from the Amboy Dukes, their first album from 1967. And up next is Frank Zappa, Apostrophe. Uh, this came out in 1974. Um, this was like one of the last few albums that I needed to, to complete my Zappa. Uh, discography or catalog but yeah there's some great stuff on here uh, don't eat the yellow snow nanny rubs it st. Alfonso's pancake breakfast cosmic debris apostrophe uncle Luna stink foot all pretty good with uh, Zappa's usual sense of humor and great guitar work really good stuff from Frank Zappa Apostrophe from 1974. Up next, this is Crow. Crow music uh, includes their hit Evil Women, which should be Evil Woman, uh, misspelled there. Um, but yeah, this is pretty good. It's kind of hard rock. Uh, there's a couple of clunkers on here. But for the most part, it is a pretty good album. Um, their version of Evil Woman is really good. It was so good that uh, Black Sabbath did a cover of it. Uh, but they also do like White Eyes, uh, Thoughts, Time to Make a Turn, Listen to the Bop, Gonna Leave a Mark, and Sleepy Woman. But great stuff, hard rock from uh, 1969, uh, Crow and Crow Music. Really good album. Check it out if you don't know about it. And up next, this is uh, an upgrade for me. Um, my copy of this album was pretty deep. I had it for like 40 years and it was pretty deep. And I found this copy, and it's like really nice. I, mean, like, I was so impressed with this. Got the um, original inner sleeve from the tricolor reprise label. Uh, classic uh, psychedelic album. Uh, classic psychedelic band. Uh, Electric Prunes. I had too much to dream last night. Great album. 
Okay. And up next, this is Bauhaus. This is a bootleg. Um, this is live at Tiffany's, Glasgow, Scotland, June 27th, 1983. Uh, it says a FM broadcast, but I don't think it is. Um, this is, uh, it sounds good, but it doesn't sound great, okay? It's listenable, and um, it sounds like the person that was recording it was standing on one side of the stage and only getting like uh, you know from one speaker and you could hear the other speaker but everything else is kind of uh, sounds muffled but and with a little bit of adjustment on the stereo it doesn't sound that bad so uh, yeah but they do like burning from the inside in fear of fear terror couple kill colonel a Spy in a Cab, Passion of Lovers, uh, they do the song Heaven from the film uh, Eraserhead by David Lynch. I don't know if anybody's out there ever seen that, but it's a weird movie. But the song is uh, they do is from that movie. Um, and they end it with Hollow Hills, but not too bad. Um, if you want some really good live Bauhaus, the best thing to get would be their their uh, live album called Pass, uh, Press the Eject and Hand Me the Tape. It's a lot better sounding than this one. But like I said, this one's not too bad. With a little bit of adjustment on your stereo, it doesn't sound too bad. So there you go, Bauhaus, live at Tiffany's. And, and last one here, this is ZZ Top's first album from 1971. Um, these guys, their early albums are fantastic. Billy Gibbons was just a great guitarist. Um, I love the stuff he did in his previous band, uh, Moving Sidewalk, was really good. But the guitar work on here is just excellent. And the songs he do, like uh, somebody else been shaking the tree, uh, brown sugar, which is not the Rolling Stone song, uh, squank, going down to Mexico, old man, certified blues, bedroom thing, just got back from babies and backdoor love affair. Really good stuff from uh, ZZ Top, the first album on London, uh, originally released in 1971. So, there you go. That's it for this week. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope everybody's doing well. I hope uh, everybody's having, uh, or getting prepared to have a good time for the 4th of July coming up next week. And uh, I guess that'll do it. Uh, thanks to everyone who subscribed this past week. Thanks to everyone who leaves comments. <coughs> Excuse me. And I guess that'll do it for this week, and we'll see you next week. Take care, VC.